Hello, dears. Welcome to Beauty by Heart. I'm Lily, also known as Lily. Today, I'll be sharing with you this my Sephora Mini Haul products review. Some of these products here are treasure, but it may not be for everyone. Some products are highly raved about, but don't work on me. <laughs> and some, hmm, I would say, I prefer the drugstore counterpart. <laughs> If you have always been curious about how these makeup products perform, you may like to continue watching. So in this video, I'll be doing the swatches and review. So hopefully this video can serve you as a guideline. If you are new to my channel, hello and welcome. If you happen to like this video, please consider to subscribe. And for all of you dears who are watching my video right now, thank you so much for watching. It's my blessing to have you dears here. And now, let's get started! Recently, I'm not into the newly released makeup products on the market. Even if I do, they are sold out. So, I'm more interested in the older ones. <laughs> and let me start off with the face product since I only got one face product over here. This is the second color I bought for the Sheer Cheek Gel. In 2020, I bought this color flush. I quite like it because despite that it looks very dark in the tube, it's actually very sheer and it looks natural on my cheeks and this lasts. I wanted to buy the color natural back then, but because this was out of stock from their website, so I bought this flush instead. So only recently then I get this natural, which is a natural pink color. By the name, the color name is called natural. <laughs> this sheer cheek gel is sheer as the name said it. The color natural is light on me. I need to build up for my skin tone to display the color on my cheeks. The texture is quite wet. I take about 5 minutes on each cheek to blend with finger and wait for it to dry down. Using sponge blender to blend is faster, but sponge blender reduces the color payoff so I have to apply more products and this takes time too. Okay, now I'm doing the longevity test. This color natural looks very natural on my cheeks as the name suggested it. <laughs> It gives a no makeup makeup look, so it will be great for dears who want a natural makeup and prefer a liquid blusher. I started to wear this blusher at 3.35 p.m. actually earlier than 3.35 because I am applying makeup. So the time that I took photo is 3.35 p.m. And by the end of the day, I took another photo which is 12.51 a.m. About 9, almost half an hour. By the end of the day, this color faded on my cheeks. I can hardly see this. Practically speaking, I will prefer this Milani Cheek Kiss Liquid Blush in the color Rose Romance more than this PC Natural Color. Firstly, because this Milani one has higher color payoff on my cheeks. It saved me time to blend out. And also, this is lasting. Anyways, I gave a more in-depth review in my previous Milani products review. So over in that video, I have two other colors under this liquid blush range and also reviewing other Milani products. So if you dears are curious about how this product perform and other Milani products, you may hop over to my next video after this. I will link the video address over here on the screen as well as in the description box below. So conclusion for this blush, I will say that either you are very patient and you really love the no makeup makeup look, then go for this pixie natural one. Otherwise, this flush is a better option because it's more long lasting and the color payoff is higher. I love a sparkly eye makeup look, but I prefer liquid glitter eyeshadow more than the pressed ones. I've watched Tati's reviews about this pressed glitter quartz from pixie and she stirred my curiosity. When I met up with my YouTube friend's child, I bought the first one, which is the Gold Lava. Like it on the eyes and bought the second one recently, which is this Rose Bronze. This is the color. And I'm applying these red glitters on my eyes now, over here. There are three colors available. The remaining one that I didn't buy is the blue one because I seldom wear blue. The glitter size is moderately fine. I like to use my finger to apply them on my eyes. So when my finger pick them up in the pan, the glitters feel smooth and easy to pick up. There is no color base for these glitters, the color comes from the glitters themselves. And I do not need to apply glitter glue, this glitter adheres to my eyelid well. 
there is not much fallout during the day when I wear them. However, <laughs> because my finger is too big, when I'm blending these glitters, my finger spread them to my lower eyelid. Then I use my finger to remove the unwanted glitters, resulting in the glitters landed all over my eye area. <laughs> and just now when I was applying the red glitter on my eyes, I accidentally create a mess because one small lump of the red glitters fall out on my eyes when I'm blending them. And luckily I'm using a small scotch tape and tip it over to remove the glitters. Otherwise, my makeup will be very messy. You dears can also choose to use a brush to apply them, but because I'm more used to my finger and I find that finger picks up glitters and shimmers and metallics eyeshadow formula better, so that's why I'm still using my finger to pick them up and apply on the eyes. And these glitters is lasting on my eyes. I do realize that there is a slight color difference between the swatches and on my eyes. The color on the swatches are a little more intense than on the eyes. Personally, I like this second color, this one. There is no color name, so I just point you to the colors. This is my most favorite color in this Gold Lava Quartz because on the eyes, it looks very natural because it looks very translucent without any color base. Probably from the photo students may be able to see that the eye makeup look is natural but sparkly. Actually, from this Gold Lava Quartz, I like all of them except for the red one which is on my eyes now because I find that red is harder to manage it's not so versatile that I can only use it for certain occasions not every day we don't really wear glitters to the office every day right? <laughs> I still find that for these three colors one, two, three on the eyes it looks more natural and less pigmented than in the pants like this and this look very romantic there is only one downside to this pressed glitter quartz which is the smell when I open this up, I can smell a very very faint scent of steel oil. You know the kind of scent when we left the oil untouched for a long time and it went bad. Fast forward to now, my eyes are not irritated so I'm still using them. But I'm seriously wondering if this has been kept for quite some time by Sephora or is the smell of one of the ingredients over here. But overall, I'm enjoying these two press glitter quartz. They are a treasure, but I think this is not for everybody. This was their last year Valentine's Day palette. And it's the mini version of their Midi Love palette, which is a 15 pence eyeshadow palette. And this mini love was gifted by Mr. Kwan on our anniversary of mid-March. So far, I only used this mini love quiz once. <laughs> Last year, actually, I did a DIY to the palette to do this palette with my existing eyeshadow colors. By the end of that video, I was stating that I will not get this palette. And obviously, now I'm slapping myself. Pink is one of my favorite eyeshadow colors. And this color story somehow stay in my mind for so long till I finally caved in. There are three finishes in this palette which are the Chromo Crystal, Matte and Metallics. There are one Chromo Crystal finish, two mattes and two metallics color. The Chroma Crystal formula is more of a topper. The color base is quite sheer and contains finely milled sparkles in it. The matte formula are creamy, smooth, pigmented and applied evenly on the eyes but the deep egg plant brown which is mine the middle color swatched out quite patchy but not on the eyes the metallic formula feels smooth soft buttery and pigmented i like how natasha denona named the color names which let me share, share with you starting from the first color over here on the left on your left probably this is you are my true love the names fitting so appropriately for the valentine's day teams yeah so in this quiz this color true is my most favorite color among them this can be applied alone or as a inner corner highlight 
And I think that for the palettes I've owned from Natasha Denona, most of them do not really have a very beautiful lighter tone highlighter color in there. So that's why I appreciate this highlighter color more. And I don't know, probably if you dears are bold and daring enough, you may like to use this through on the cheeks as the facial highlighter. This is actually a metallic icy pastel pink. And although pink is one of my favorite color, I like the color story. There is one major drawback from this palette. It doesn't last on me. Their midi love palette doesn't last on me too. I'm so angry. <laughs> As you can see from the photos, I started to take the photo at 1.22pm and the check-in time is 11.36pm which is about 10 hours of wear. By the end of the day, the colors faded. So if you were to ask me, is this mini love palette worth buying? I would say, oops, I'm so angry that I almost turned my table. I would say no, not worth it. That's hugely because it doesn't last on me with such a heavy price tag. Because come on, if my Suki Girl Full Bloom Eyeshadow Quartz has a better staying power, I don't see why it can't be the same for a heavier price tag palette. Mini Star Quicks was released 3 years ago. It was on my wish list, but I don't know what happened. I forgot all about it. <laughs> I probably swamped with too much new released. There are four finishes in this palette which are the dual chrome, matte, metallics and sparkling. There are one dual chrome crystal, two matte finishes, one metallic and one sparkly color. The first color is a dual chrome of a bluish green with a brown flip. I find the brown is stronger than the bluish green. I can't really see much of the bluish green. The matte and metallics feel the same as their mini love quicks as mentioned just now. The sparkly formula feels the same as their metallic formula with sparkles in them. And the sparkle are ultra funny milk. Usually matte do not attract me to a palette, but matte is the staple for me, I will surely use them. The metallics, shimmers, different types of chromes, sparkling finishes are what pulls me into a palette. My most favorite color in this quicks will be the middle one, which is a metallic nude color. And I like to use these middle three colors over here to create looks. I seldom touch the two colors over here at the both end. Gold used to be one of my favorite eyeshadow color, but not for now. Overall, I really like the color stories over here. It kind of ground me and gives me comfort. The overall color story is natural. We can use it every day at anywhere. And nowadays, <laughs> I mainly wear makeup at home. <laughs> but again, for this mini star palette, there is a huge drawback. It doesn't last on me again. But I'm not so angry with this quiz because I really like the browns. I used this palette several times but <laughs> I only remember the record twice. The first time I was only using the three colors in the middle to create this look. The time that I took photo was 3.35 p.m. and end around 9.47 p.m. about six hours. By the end of the day, the colors faded. So I wore the second time with, with all the five colors over here. Again, the color faded. So, is this mini star worth buying? Mm, I really like the color stories over here, but this color story is not a unique one. Maybe except for the first color over here, which is a dual chrome formula with the bluish green flip with a brown. But this color itself is highly dupable by so many brands including Wet n Wild. And overall, the color story can be easily dupable by other colors especially if you have a lot of single eyeshadows, you probably already own this. Taking this middle color for example, which is Bellatrix, which is my most favorite colors in this palette. Let me just do a light hand swatch. This color. This is a metallic nude color. I can easily replace by my single eyeshadows from Cine Grace. This color, this is blushed. They are not exactly the same same color but very similar.
okay, this is only one layer. And can you see that there's this Cynic Gray Sika Eyeshadow is slightly more void. The color payoff is more intense than this one. But as I mentioned just now, the colors are not really the same. The Cynic Gray ones has a rosy undertone to it. The Natasha Denona is more of a nude brown color. But I think on the eyes, it doesn't translate much difference. And also, most importantly, Sydney Grace doesn't fit on my eyes. Then this color, which is a golden olive color, the last color over here, Cosmo. This color can be easily replaced by Makeup Rising Phoenix Reese's This is Vanquish Eyeshadow Palette. I just gave a review not too long ago and also did a 5 eye makeup looks with it. Oh, what? Did you guys see that? It fell off! I just take this, this color out from the palettes because the color fell off just now. This is the Exorcist which is also a gold metallic colors with sparkle. Likewise for this color Cosmo from Natasha Denona Mini Star, this is a metallic with sparkle as well. So this is the Mika Rising Phoenix color. Just look at this. Not exactly the same color but the tone is very similar to one another. I'm not so sure if you just can see that the color payoff is more void, more intense and both contain sparkles and this Makeup Rising Phoenix one is more obvious. It is equally finely milled but just that the sparkly effect is much better. And also the most important thing about Makeup Rising Phoenix is it doesn't fade on me. And I will say to be fair for the mini star palette over here, I do realize that each time when I use Makeup Rising Phoenix palette, it will take me a long time to let go of them and fall in love with another palette. <laughs> so Mini Star is the next palette I went for after using the Makeup Rising Phoenix palette. And that's why I wasn't really wowed by Mini Star, especially since this is a Natasha Denona palette and Natasha Denona is a very popular brand. Even though Mini Star is good on its own, except that it fits on my eyes, it just can't surpass the Makeup Rising Phoenix formula. So if you were to ask me if this Mini Star worth buying, I will say overall it's a good palette. I have to say no. It fits on me. Color story can be easily replaced by other palettes. And again, the price tag. If the price tag is lower, then I will say yes, definitely worth buying. Although the mini palettes are not as expensive as their bigger ones, when I'm paying more for an item, I will have higher expectation. So, conclusion, which of these products are worth buying? <laughs> Two pieces press glitter quartz, but I understand it's not for everyone. And by the way, glitters can be hard to remove by the end of the day. So what I do is, I will just use Scotch tape to stick on the glitters and then just remove them. And followed by an eye makeup remover. This will be so much easier to remove. And which are not worth buying. Drum roll again. I would say the PC Sheer Cheek Gel Blusher in this color natural. But I think that this flush is worth buying. Not the natural one because it is really too natural. I prefer the Milani ones. And of course, these two Natasha Denona quits as mentioned just now. I hope that this video is helpful for you, dears. And now, dears, it's your turn to share with me. Which is your current most favorite makeup products? Please share with me in the comment section below because I will also love to explore more options from you. And here's an inner beauty tip for us to be more beautiful and more wise. How you love yourself is how you teach others to love you. Thank you dear so much for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe and click the bell notification button below for my future videos. I like to do makeup products review and beauty related videos and if this is your cup of tea, please join in my YouTube family. Also dear, if you like to connect with me more, please visit me at my Instagram and Facebook platform. The address will be over here on the screen and over there I'll be posting more of what I usually do for a day. Not every day, maybe just one, two or three days in a week. <laughs> Dear dears, have a peaceful, blissful and joyful week ahead. See you next time. Bye!
And before you go, please check out these two videos over here. Thank you!